I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Hey there, welcome. This is Manny the Man Lopez on a brand new PLS Tips with Manny. Uh, this week, uh, well, normally each week I give you guys some new tips on marketing, strategy, uh, generating new business, um, you know, mindset, marketing, whatever it be that is going to help you develop yourself into a leader in your industry. Okay, so uh, today we're going to be talking about failure. Okay, why failure happens and what do you do about it and how it affects you and you know, what I've seen a lot of, of businesses and professionals out there, you know, I talk to people every day. I talk to dozens of people a week, uh, maybe more than that. But, you know, for me, I see a lot of what works, what doesn't work. I, I talk to millionaires. I've got billionaires. I don't know about billionaires yet. I think just millionaires. All right, so I've got a lot of millionaires in my circle. I've got some you know, broke people in my circle. You know, for me, I, I take a look at what everybody is doing, and I learn from it, right? And I just want to share that with you guys. So, um Today, let's talk about failure, okay? Failure happens to all of us. It happens to every single one of us, okay? The difference is, is how you respond to that failure, okay? Do you let it affect you? Do you let it change your path? Do you, do you let it make you give up, you know? I had to deal with a lot of failure. I'm going to tell you some of the failures that I've dealt with. All right, so starting out, um, some of the failures I've had. Let's just talk business-wise because we can go into my life and be such a long video <laughs> so let's talk about business wise so my first business I failed miserably okay uh, my first business venture was a, a Redbox style business okay uh, before Redbox was in every place you could imagine um, it was a very small company It was only a few stores and I had uh, partnered up with this company that was in Canada that provided these uh, DVD kiosks um, if I have a picture of it, I'll put it in here. I don't know if I can find one, uh, if I even have one in my computer here. But if I do, I'll have it on this little uh, whiteboard here. If not, oh well, you're just going to be out of luck. Anyway, so the kiosk was, was uh, different in the fact that when you rented the DVD, you actually got the entire DVD box. You, got, um, you could see through the panel and you can see all the boxes and what's available. So it's like a vending machine. Of DVDs basically so instead of you looking at it you know getting a little just a little flip thing you get the entire box so that was a big difference on mine uh, obviously the compat the compa capacity was very minimal I can only hold about 112 DVDs in there um, and then we got we messed up miserably because of the location uh, location 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 is, is definitely key uh, when you have a retail style business where you need a lot of people um, renting or buying your product so I put it in a, a sports club. Now we had made a deal to where it was labeled right as uh, positioned right next to the cafe where people would go to the cafe. I mean, there was people in the cafe all day long. So they were getting a lot of foot traffic in the cafe. We had the DVD kiosk positioned right next to it, right? Problem is that same day, the owner of the company, owner of the location comes in. Ah, I don't like that. I don't like it right there. Go and throw it next to the vending machines. So instead of me being right next to the cafe, they moved this $15,000 machine that I just paid for and planned it right there. Moved it and put it to the side next to locker rooms. Okay, so that means only people that were going to work out are going to see my DVD, my DVD kiosk. So it eliminated all the people going to buy popcorn and snacks, going back home to watch movies, right? Uh, eliminated all of that and uh, and just put it into a very small traffic area. So we were getting one to two rentals a day. I mean, it, we had to make, I think, like eight rentals a day to be profitable. Uh, and it just wasn't happening. So we ended up selling the kiosk to some kids out in uh, Cal State Fullerton. Um, they were going to be putting it in the actual, um, uh, what is it called? Cal State Fullerton, the, the college. They're going to put it in the college. Um, so I don't know what ended up happening with that, but I ended up selling it, uh, lost money on it. But that was my first failure. Um, another failure I had, uh, well, here's how it affected me because it's not just let me tell you the failure, but what I ended up doing with it. It was a learning experience for me. It, it taught me merchant accounts. It taught me uh, marketing. It taught me I need to have traffic in front of my product. I need to have people looking at my service. No matter how awesome or unique it is, it does not matter how great it is. It's like putting a billboard out in the middle of the desert. It doesn't matter if there's only five, ten people walking by it. You're not going to get business. You're not going to get enough business at least to, to make it profitable, make it worth it. So uh, from there, 
I, I, I took, the, took that in and saw that, okay, so make sure, no matter how good the idea is, make sure you have a business plan planned out before you invest in it. I mean, I literally threw 15 grand away and just said, all right, go for it and we'll figure it out as we go. And, you know, then I had to learn about all the additional costs that running a business has, putting a business license together, you know, filing all the state filing fees and all that kind of stuff and uh, getting a merchant account and paying merchant account fees and, you know, buying the DVDs, buying inventory and, and turnaround and, and it's ridiculous. You know, there's a lot of things that goes into running a real business. And for me, you know, that's that the learning curve that I got from there is you want to go throw 15 grand away here is an easy way to do it, right? Even if you have a great product, you know, you, you could still lose a lot of money uh, if you don't know what you're doing on, on the marketing side and branding side and, and getting people in front of your product. What I've noticed is that you need three things in your business if you want to be successful online. And that is going to be coding. So you need somebody that can code a site or a website or be able to keep coding up to date for you because there's always something new happening. And you can't rely on building a simple landing page and not being able to um, you know, provide updates and new things to it that makes it unique, right? If you just do what everybody else is doing, you're going to get what everybody else is getting. And right now, if we look at the landscape of our economy, uh, it's not very favorable to people that are, aren't putting in an effort to make themselves stand out, all right? So from there, the next failure that I had, um, let's see. Uh, let's see, I went into network marketing. I tried some network marketing stuff in the past. I failed miserably like that. I was terrible at recruiting. I'm a product seller. I'm a guy who can go out there and I can tell you 15,000 ways this product is going to benefit you and how it's going to help you and all that kind of I'm a product driven guy. Me recruiting, building a team, that kind of stuff, that wasn't my forte. That wasn't at all what I was really good at. You know, me, I, I, I did, I started this MLM and I recruited absolutely zero people, not one person. I sold a boatload of product to individuals, but I recruited not one person on my team. Not one, all right? So that was another failure I had because with multi-level marketing, you can't rely solely on just selling the product. You have to build a team for that system to be successful because of the way, you know, the pay structure works and how you have to recycle and all that kind of stuff. It, you know, it, me, it didn't make sense. All of it was like, okay, well, I have a product. Here's the cost of the product. If I sell it, I'll make this much from that cost. I mean, that was how simple it was for me. Uh, I was used to selling cars and selling, um, you know, medical discount. I always go with that medical discount plans. It was like my one of my first sales jobs uh, where I actually had an office to go to. You know, I was at a top top rise building in Orange County and um, they did uh, debt consolidation on one side and they did this medical discount plan they would sell you. Where basically you'd buy like uh, I don't know, like 30 bucks, I don't know, something small and you'd be able to take this little card and go to dental offices and offices in their network and they'd be able to get 20, 40, 50, 60 percent off of their services. So it paid for itself um, if they used it, of course. But, you know, that was something, one of my first sales jobs, um, I did pretty well there. I think I ended up getting fired for low production um, for a couple of weeks or something. I don't know what I was going through, but I was doing pretty well there, and then all of a sudden it just it just wasn't happening anymore. Um, what else happened? Let's see. <sighs> I failed a lot, you know. I, I've grown by the fact of I'm a risk taker, big time. Um, I've got a family that I support, but I'm a very big risk taker. I I am literally willing to put it all on the line if I have a vision and I have a dream and, and I see it, like I've literally have gone through, you know, getting kicked out of my house, you know, before I started my, my company I have now, um, I was living with my mom on her couch. You know, it was, uh, it was difficult. Um, you know, I had been through of, of getting my cars repossessed. I've been through, you know, getting evicted because I couldn't afford to pay my rent. You know, I've, I've had failure. I've had, points in the time where my bank account, you know, was not zero, but negative. It was where I owed money to the bank because uh, I, I just couldn't balance the checkbook right. You know, it's, it was difficult. There's a lot of things that you go through, but it's a learning experience that is going to teach you something for the future. What I've learned that all these failures that I've gone through has made me a very smart person moving forward on that type of uh, situation. So if I was to come to that situation again, I know how to handle it. I know how to get to a better way. And you, typically it's a lot bigger 
um, risk that I'm taking that now I have a structured way to get through it. You know what I'm saying? So you have the ability to look at failure as um, a failure or you look at failure like I do as a learning experience. I see failure as something that this is now a life lesson that I can take to say this is an experience for me that I can share with others and say, here's what not to do, right? <laughs> uh, I can share that with others. I can share with myself. I now can share with my own kids and my family. My, my son, he's eight years old and he wants to start his own business now. And now I can see all the businesses that I've, be, I've started and I've branded and I've helped. I can now look to him and say, this is how you do it right, son. This is how you can go from A to Z without having to uh, to stumble over B, C, D, E, and F, right? You can jump over to G right away. And now you can jump over to F. Right? I mean, it, or not F, obviously you don't go backwards, but, you know, S, you know, and uh, you get you can get what I'm saying here, guys. Is you want to make sure that if you're working on your passion, you're working on your dream, you're working on your life's mission, okay? You need to go full force on it and not be afraid of failure. You are going to fail. You're going to have setbacks in your business, in your life. You're going to have these. It's going to happen. It's inevitable, okay? What you do with it and how you respond to it is what makes you. It's what's going to make the difference between you being a seven-figure, eight-figure earner in your lifetime to being a guy who's still stuck making minimum wage. You don't want to be that guy. Don't be the guy afraid to fail. When you're afraid to fail, you die. You can't live being somebody who is going to be stuck in a corner, you know, shriveled up, not, a, not ready to make action, not ready to do things with your life. You can't live that life. You have to be a risk taker. You've got to be someone that is going out of their way to make something happen, create something, create life, inspire others, do something that is different, that is you, that makes you happy. You have a passion. You have something that you do that is going to make you who you are in this life. If you want to continue living a dream that is not yours, you want to live a life that is not yours, you want to go impress people that don't mean anything to you, you want to go and create a lifestyle that is not you just to impress people that you don't care about, to buy things you don't need, why? Why do things you don't love? Why? Life is way too short. You could die tomorrow. You could die today. You could walk out of this this freaking phone you're watching this on or this TV you're watching or this screen you could just blow up in front of you and you die. Who knows? Right? You don't know what happens today, tomorrow, the next day. You have today. You have yesterday to look back and that's your experience and that's what you learn from. You have today to take action on that experience. And you have tomorrow to hopefully have. Okay? You know what he has promised tomorrow. Why waste today living a life you don't want? Stop doing it. Go out there and live your dream. Find something you're passionate about and make it into a business. Find something. Okay? You have the power lead system here that is going to give you a tool to promote any business that you want. You can you know, utilize it for the contact manager. Use it for email marketing. Use it for you know, building your landing pages and your sales pages. Use it to learn. You've got all the tools behind you to teach you how to be successful. You've got our Facebook group that's got over 10,000 members now that can give you help on anything that you would need help on. You have the resources here, guys. All you need to do is tap into these resources. Jump into what we have here, guys. Jump into our vision, to our entrepreneur spirit that says you can do it no matter what you come from no matter your background all you do is find somebody that has done it before and follow them find a mentor get somebody that will teach you step by step how to do it typically all you gotta do is follow them on social media they're gonna share with you the stories that they do they're gonna share with you the experiences that they have they're gonna share testimonials they're gonna they're gonna share that kind of stuff with you like if you guys want to follow me on Facebook you'll see all the stuff I post about you know just yesterday I was in LA uh, Los Angeles at a YouTube um, recording with uh, with Darius Love he's gonna be playing Tupac in the next uh, biopic that's coming out pretty soon um, I was with Layla Steinberg who discovered Tupac back when you know he was uh, living on her couch uh, you you have the ability to to grow yourself into whoever you want to be and all it does is mean you make a decision that says this is what I'm going to do and nobody nothing is going to stop me that's all it is you make a decision there is a lot of forces in this world that do not want you to succeed they do not want you to be who you are whether it be family whether it be friends whether it be doubters and haters or whatever you want to call it or maybe a spiritual alignment that that is affecting you right now let it be known 
that whatever you want to do, you put it out there to the universe. You tell it, this is what's going to happen. Shout it to the rooftops. Put it in a video. Share it on you online. Put it out there and say, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm going to have. And this is where I'm going. Who's going to stop me? Right? And just keep going. No matter what. Do what you need to do. So many people told me to give up. So many people told me, to, man, go get a real job. You're not making any money that way. No. Okay, maybe I'm not making money right now. But I can make money today. I can make money tomorrow. I can make money the next day. There's going to be a way for me to get there. And, you know, God's will, it may not be right now. It may not be tomorrow. It may not be next week. It may not even be next month or next year. But it's going to happen. If you keep going at it, you keep going forward, you keep focusing your vision strong, it's going to happen for you. You'll see. You'll see it. I'm a proof of the pudding. And there's proof of the pudding on every single person that is successful. They'll tell you all the same thing. Don't be afraid of failure. Keep going. Don't give up. Forget the naysayers and just do it. It's that simple. I mean, I don't know how many times you have to hear it because I know I'm not the first person to tell you this. Okay, you're watching this video and you're probably you've heard this at least five or six times from billionaires and, and people that have been successful. Listen, that's it. Make a decision, guys. Focus, dream, don't be afraid of failure. That's all I'm going to leave you with here today, guys. Um, if you are not a Power Elite System member and you were invited to this training, whoever sent you to this, get on their team because there is somebody that pays attention to value, pays attention to helping you grow. And that is somebody that you want on your team, okay? Get with whoever sent you this video. Get on board with the Power Elite System if you're not already. I mean, it's you got a free trial and after that's like 30 bucks a month. It's a no-brainer for any business. I mean, it literally is a Swiss Army knife for your business. I run my entire business with it. I've got every landing page for all of my products and services through that. I have a contact manager that I use, so that way I know where all my affiliates are sending prospects to. I mean, it is ridiculous. I use the share code so you guys can be able to duplicate my, my uh, landing pages and, and share them with your team. I mean, there's just amazing stuff in this system, guys. And if you're not on board yet, you're going to get on board one day or another. So might as well get it now. There's no better time like the present. So I'm going to leave you with that, guys. Uh, get back to me next week. Uh, as always, you are too blessed to be stressed. I will see you next week. Have a great day. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found.